Good business schools help you land a job. Great business schools help you build a career. But at SMU Cox, that's just the beginning. Here in Dallas, Texas, we prepare you for whatever the future throws at you. Our commitment to student success has produced soaring rankings and unprecedented career outcomes. It's why we continue to produce programs for in-demand industries and invest in new state-of-the-art facilities. Be a part of something great. SMU Cox. Visit us at smu.edu slash cox slash career to learn more. Did you know that one in eight kids in Atlanta will go hungry tonight? Eating healthy, balanced meals is essential for kids to learn and grow. That's why Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield, an education nonprofit Common Threads, have teamed up to help schools learn about healthier food preparation. In Atlanta, they're joined by the dream and will provide education, recipes, and knowledge to students and families about healthier options. Visit anthem.com slash dream to learn more. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield is the trade name of Blue Cross Blue Shield Healthcare Plan of Georgia, Inc. What do you think of a uh, possible uh, Adoree Jackson from the Turner? I'll never close a door and get in the, the ball in the playmaker's hands. Um, he's back there working at it. And uh, obviously you guys know we only suit up 48 people on game day. So the more position flex, the more versatility a player can have, the better. Have you studied him, have you studied him in the past and how he handled that role? He's dynamic plays? with the ball in his hand. I do know that. So um, like I said, we'll never shut the door on putting the ball in a playmaker's hands. Does Gunner look comfortable to you back there? He looks like he's moving around kind of slowly to us. I'll let Dave's handle that uh, with him coming back. Um, but he's back there working at it, doing a great job catching the football. How do you kind of weigh, you know, putting somebody back there who's compromised a little bit and just saying, hey, we're just going to just catch the ball and we're fine with that versus wanting to get somebody who's healthy and, you know, get the yardage? Yeah, the biggest thing to me with any returner uh, value is, the person has to make sure they can own the football. That's safely securing it, because the most telling statistic in terms of winning and losing in this league is turnover margin. So we want to make sure whoever is back there, that that guy is owning the football and making smart decisions to catch it. But would you you consider sacrificing return yards if it meant that you had somebody back there to secure the ball? The the number one priority will always be to secure the ball. So um, to, to your point, you know, a guy could have all the run skill uh, in this league, but if he doesn't catch the ball well, um, you kind of vacillate with potentially losing the game, which is, you know, obviously something we don't want to do. Where do you stand at kickoff returner as you enter week one? Uh, you know, that's that's more game plan, uh, you know, specific. We'll have different rules for different games and different kickers, um, and that'll, that'll be fluid throughout the week and obviously with the weather changing. When you, what were, returning kicks, best? When you were returning kicks in the preseason, how – cognizant were you of not wanting to show too much of what you're going to use while also wanting to test the new rules I mean yeah no that's uh there was there's balance to it because (coughs) it's it's it was a new rule and it still is a new rule so you wanted to be able to gather useful information you don't want to necessarily just go out there and uh you know say hey we're going to be very vanilla the whole preseason and not actually get good at potentially stuff that you want to do but at the same time Yes, you are keeping some stuff uh, close to the close to the vest there. So, um, you know, I, I felt like we we did a good job, and our players did a great job in terms of just owning the fundamentals and the technique. Which I feel, if you can do that in this play, you have a chance. We saw, kind of, we saw teams have different approaches with the kickoff returner. You know, the faster, you know, general punt return kind of guy, the bigger guys, the running backs. On a you know general question for you, like on a general basis. What have you learned about the kickoff, and which, where, like, what direction would you lean in regards to you know, what the approach is in that? Well, the one thing I did learn about the kickoff is it hits pretty damn quick, um, and you know, speed is always always a huge attribute of any returner. So a returner that could eat up grass initially with good catch mechanics, catching it forward, that could get to that initial line of defense, has the biggest best chance of actually having an explosive return in this league. Um, so, and those come in all shapes and sizes. You could have a guy that can get to that line and then their collision balance is poor and they go down with an arm tackle. Or you can have a guy that's a running back that's used to being able to break through tackles and he gets through that initial line and is able to break that arm tackle to get that ex- explosive. So there's, there's really strengths and challenges to putting different types of personnel back there. Um, I think at the end of the day, any player that has the ability to make smart decisions with the football 
and could eat up grass is going to have a chance to have success in that specific play. What do you think of the notion of this being a new play? Week one, just booming out of the end zone, let everyone else figure it out, and you'll have data to study for, for week two. Yeah, I, you know, obviously you guys know our stadium. Sometimes you can't control that, you know, with the wind. So you always have to prepare to be able to get uh, those balls that are in play. There is no fair catch to bail you out anymore. Um, so it's something you have to practice religiously. And then on the other side, again, the weather is, it changes in our stadium. So we have to plan like we, we are going to cover a lot of kicks. Um, and that is something that, you know, also when you do cover kicks, sometimes it provides the defense momentum. Um, so there's going to be a, a good strategy when it comes to that. Um, and then we'll be able to handle that as a staff later in the week. Not asking what you guys are going to do, but are you expecting to see, like the preseason was a lot of like send the ball in the air to the five yard line. Are you expecting a lot of like knuckle balls and bouncing balls across the NFL the first two, three weeks? Yeah, I, I think you always got to, you know, these kickers are so skilled. They really are. And the foot accuracy that a lot of these NFL kickers have is very impressive. So their ability to be able to place the ball in the alleys outside the numbers with lower hang times at times, um, you got to prepare for it because we're dealing with the best in the world. So our returners being able to truly see the ball off the tee and get a jump on it to be able to make sure they own the football is critical for them uh, having success. So I, you know, I do expect us to see a little bit more of that variety of type of kick. What, uh, what makes Bryce Ford Wheaton a good gunner? Love Bryce Ford Wheaton, by the way. He is, he's wired the right way. I think it starts with the mentality. When the mentality is right, the rest of it comes into play. Um, obviously as a receiver, he has a natural feel for being able to get people off the spot. He's a really good uh, uh, catcher, you know, so, you know, he gives that uh, possession, position flexibility in terms of that. Um, and anybody that's a receiver that's out there, you got to obviously regard them um, in terms of coverage. So I think the mentality, number one, is awesome because he approaches it like he is going to go win that rep every time. Um, and then again, the the experience of him being a receiver also translates in, in other parts. How challenging is that for him to have impressed you guys with something that he really doesn't have much on film doing? You know, you had other guys who were more experienced here, but the idea that he was able to show you those kind of traits, you know, I would imagine it's not much time to be able to do that. So no he question. has to do, you know, a lot more in a, in a short period of time. So with him being a younger player, you, you always question whether the experience will come to life um, and how quickly he can translate to play that position at a high level. But our job as coaches is always to look at whatever their primary position is and put as many similarities that they could have in terms of what they do primarily. Be like, okay, this is the same thing here, except now we're asking you to do this. Or this is how it's different, and now we're asking you to do this. Oh, you did this as a receiver? Let's do it again here. You know, So that is always a challenge as coaches to make that learning process happen a lot quicker. And to the kid's credit, I mean, he studies his tail off. He does. He's always there after practice working extra drills, um, and he truly wants to be great with whatever role that he's given. In kickoff coverage, there usually used to be like layers of coverage in case somebody broke through. Yeah. Can you still do that, or is it so close you can't have a layer? No, it's a great point. Uh, it is. It's definitely uh, more difficult to create layers because everybody is on the the same line, and you are so much closer. And if you think about it, them aligning on the 40-yard line to create layers, you're basically seceding field position right away. So you have to be very strategic with how to how you get to those spots. And can you do that with a uh, a good amount of guys? You know, who knows? You know, but I think uh, the biggest thing is knowing that you're in a stagnant position and having to get off at a slower tempo, whereas guys would be inside the 25-yard line on sometimes the returner catching the ball. You have to be very strategic with creating levels, but also not jeopardizing how much space you're giving up right away. Rand's obviously coming off knee surgery last year. I'm curious what you saw from him this summer and if you kind of have to bring him along slowly during the season or is he just back to full range, you know, week one, let's go. Cause we, we haven't really seen him you know, get a ton of opportunities this summer, especially, yeah. especially uh, in preseason. So I've seen Graham, uh, the Graham Gano that wins football games in this league. So I'm, I'm really excited to see him put pen to paper. Um, he is a proven kicker in this league, and I'm fully confident in his ability to go make kicks um, at any distance.
There's no better place to watch live TV this fall than Hulu Plus Live TV. Why? Because you get your favorite sports like football, local channels, shows, and so much more. Plus, get Hulu's entire streaming library with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus included with your plan. No long-term contracts or hidden fees. Don't wait. Start your three-day free trial of Hulu Plus Live TV today. Live TV plan required. Access content from each service separately. Offer valid for new and eligible returning subscribers only if available. Terms and restrictions apply. Learn more at Hulu.com. Every day when you log into ChumbaCasino.com, the ultimate online social casino, you get a free daily bonus. Imagine if you got daily bonuses in other parts of your life. I chose French fries over loaded French fries. I asked Stuart from accounting about his weekend, even though I don't care. I updated my operating system without having to call tech support. Collect your free daily bonus at ChumbaCasino.com now. And live the Chumba life. BDW group. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.